Hey everybody, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Today is day 8 of my 30 videos in 30 days and a popular subject that comes up a lot for women is cellulite. Okay, so today's topic is cellulite. And I can tell you after having cellulite since I was 16 years old, 33 this year, I am cellulite free. I do, do just turn around and settle the back of your legs then. <laughs> okay, so lean, slim, nice. <laughs> Pump it. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's taken me a while and a lot of people are like, oh, I just want some pill, you know, I want some cleanse that's going to get rid of my cellulite. No, it's not going to happen overnight. It's a gimmick. That cellulite has been gathering, that cottage cheese, orange peel, pincushion skin yeah. has been gathering for years and years and years. So it's going to take a little bit of time for it to then go. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So... But like, I mean, what, what is cellulite? Yeah, what, what, what is cellulite? I'll tell you what cellulite first is. It's fat cells, sodium, and toxins all gathering under the skin. Ah, yeah, and makes that, sense. Can, that can build from years and years of like inactivity and eating crap. Okay, so what, what's the. So, that food, like yes, lean chicken would be good, wouldn't it? Like lean chicken and eggs and stuff, no, that'd be no, no, good. No, no, definitely. Like my mum eats. So, it takes time on a high carb vegan or raw vegan diet. See, what works is the fruit acid. So a high fructose diet really works well for cellulite. So you want to get those fruit acids into your cellulite, into your fat stores, and get them to dissolve it away. Because mm -hmm. that's what happens. Yep. And lymphatic system, you want the lymphatic system to pump out those suspended toxins. I mean, isn't it right that like toxins and fat can be suspended in your lymphatic system for years? And they should pump them out. Yeah. And a lot of people don't pump them out. And salt as well. That yeah, can so just... sodium. Because if you, like a lot of models, they cut salt out before a photo shoot for at least two weeks up to a month so they have less dimpling effect on the legs because they're having less sodium retention. That's right. Like a lot of that dimpling is sodium retention, water retention. And that's how fruit can work is the fruit's potassium content can help flush out the excess sodium. That's why people, when they first start this lifestyle, they're pissing like 50 times a day. They're just getting all this sodium attention. Exactly, exactly. That can really, really lean you out. Yep. And a few things that have really helped me has been like, number one, I think, well, not number one, but definitely up there high is B12 shots. Okay. B12 shots have been amazing. I've been taking them for a number of years now, and I'm sure that it had a big impact on my cellulite. What, do you go to a doctor or something, do you, or...? I do, I have done, yeah, in the past, but you're, you're my B12 dealer. That's right, I'll, I'll give B12 freely. He wants B kudos for being the B12 dealer. I'll, I'll give freely your B12 shot. Actually, have you ever had been to the doctor for a B12 shot? Yeah, I have. Really? Okay. Yes, I have. But B12, B12 is a big one, okay. And also circulation, you want to increase the circulation in that yep. area, so you've got to get the lymphatic system working. So cycling, exercise. running. Yep, definitely. And that brings the deep breathing up. Mm -hmm. You end up deep breathing because your heart's pumping, the oxygen's pumping, and that really mobilizes the fat stores. Yeah. That's what you want to do. And you also have to drink enough water. I really, I can't emphasize that one enough because you want to help your body flush, flush those toxins out into the toilet. I drink, I'll drink a cup of water a day and in my tea and coffee. You want to have... How much water do you, you need? Have at least, you want to be peeing clear 8 to 12 times a day. I know that I say that all the time, but I'm just going to keep saying it until people actually do it. But I don't like going to the toilet, it's inconvenient. Oh my god, I love it. You know, when I go to the toilet twice in a night, like two or three times, I'm celebrating. You go to the toilet at night time, that's like... I love it, I'm getting rid of the toxins. I mean, no, it means you're sick. No, no, no. You, should, you should take a pill for that. Definitely not. So don't worry about that propaganda. It is not true. Okay? okay. You want to be peeing clear 8 to 12 times a day and going to the toilet a couple of times a night. I don't know, but and it, but the B and the B12 the B12 injection seems to be extreme. Why not take a pill or something? No, like because or a patch. it bypasses your digestive system, it goes straight into the bloodstream. Ah, so so you're not going to lose any of that on absorption. Ah, so it bypasses any absorption issues people might have. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So the B12 that is a big one. That's Kind of the secret that I was, you know, I was kind of um, teasing people saying, mm -hmm. oh, I've got something special today. B12 is one of the big things. B12 injections. Yeah. 
intramuscular. Exercise, obviously, getting fitter. Oh, yeah. Because even on the raw food diet, initially, I had cellulite. Yeah. And for a couple of years, actually, I'm thinking, what's going on? Mm. But I wasn't pumping it. Yeah, just sitting around. Yeah. I mean, like, human growth hormone release is really, really good for mobilizing the fat stores as well. Mm -hmm. You can get injections. It's people who get injections of HGH do that do actually that? helps you mobilize your cellulite. Yep. But it unbalances your hormones. And I don't get it. I haven't had cellulite treatment. I haven't had liposuction. Yes, you have. Like you must have had liposuction. Look at your stomach. Like it's all, you know, it's all so lean, so slim. I remember actually... And this is the end of the day. I mean, I used to have cellulite on my stomach. I used to have cellulite... Here? Muffin top so like. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. So, I'm just really excited about it because I know how frustrating cellulite can be. For years, I've looked in the mirror going, when is it going to move? Mm. I remember eating like a sort of standard diet and I was working out heaps and I got quite lean. Still had all this cellulite down to here. Yep. Definitely down to here. Yeah, yeah. All this cottage cheese, orange peel, pin cushion skin. Yep. Or in my stomach as well. And your arms, maybe. Yeah, on my arms, I did. Right <laughs> here. Crazy. Yeah. Okay, so the five tips that I've gotten out of this. B12. B12. B12 shots. Exercise consistently. Get your fitness up. How much? How many hours a week? It's for the lymphatic system. How many hours a week, really? 50? Per day, I would recommend, you know, just movement, 20 minutes, yep. 30 minutes a day. That talking pace? Six times, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes push it. A couple of times a week, push it. That will mobilize it quicker. Mm-hmm. Okay. Third one, the water. Water. Water is definitely important. Eight to twelve times, pain clear a day. Sleep. That's sleep. one I didn't really um, talk about because sleep is really important for balancing your hormones. Women are the ones who generally get the cellulite problems and they're estrogen dominant. Mm. So balancing the hormones is really important to keep the cellulite away. Yeah. Right, so diet. You, you, you just can't forget about diet. Diet is one of the most important things. And I've been consistently eating a low-fat diet for many, many years now. And that cumulative effect has just caught up and what? stripped away the cellulite. So low-fat meaning you probably under 30 grams of fat a day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, right now through chronometer.com. And Another vegan. Another important thing is what doesn't work. Okay, I've tried a lot of things for the cellulite. Haven't done extreme things like lipo, but <laughs> I have done... Um, brushing, skin brushing. Yeah. You know like that? I've done that consistently for months and months and months. Gimmick. It doesn't work. <laughs> it really doesn't work. I mean, God, how many women have tried that yeah. out there? So the skin brushing, the massage, it's a yeah. bit of a gimmick as well. It might be nice and, you know, therapeutic. Yeah. But really, you've got to get out there and you've got to breathe deeply. Fresh air. Low fat. Yeah. Keep the animal products out. B12 shots. Fresh air, water, sleep. sleep. Cool. Yeah. Just gives you a flex on your leg there, because I can see the muscle, the quad here. That's, you only see that in, on uh, really lean people there, the, the quad teardrop. Little teardrop coming on. Little <laughs> solid little legs, little muscle. They are solid little legs. Nice. They carry me around very nicely. Mm -hmm. All right, so thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for all your support. I've been loving the comments. A lot of funny ones. I only had to block one guy the other day. But anyway, <laughs> I've been loving them a lot. Keep them coming, and I'll see you tomorrow for day nine. Feel free to leave any sort of suggestions you have in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them, and, and I'll consider making a video on them. And I'll see you then. Yeah, cool. don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. Fruit, and just give us a twelve freely. The physique. Twelve. <laughs> don't fruit yourself.